So hello everybody and welcome to Flamingle. So today I'm joined by Ollie Henry and me and Ollie actually met a few years ago because we used to work at Legoland together. We did, we worked <laughs> in the entertainment department. But today I've come to the Norton Farm Arts Centre in Mainhead to support Ollie as he is performing in their studio sessions event. So can you please explain to us a little bit about tonight's event and how it's going to work? Yeah, of course. Um, so tonight's event is um, it's a session that they do, I think they do it a few times a year, mm -hmm. and um, it's basically showcasing some local talent um, in Maidenhead um, and like Berkshire, surrounding areas and stuff. Um, and everybody who's performing tonight does uh, about three, three, four songs, okay. and we have like a 15 minute slot each, and um, at least one of the songs has to be an original song. Ah, so um, for that so song, yeah. are you going to be, he's got a debut single yes. called Distance. Yeah, yeah. Is that the one you're doing um, That's tonight? one of them, yeah. I'm oh. doing two two originals tonight. Um, one that I haven't uh, played live before. Um, and the yeah, and the second one will be will be distance. Yeah. So. Ah, so can you tell us a bit about those two songs? Yeah, yeah. So um, distance um, is about um, it's a classic sort of breakup song. Um, it's kind of yeah, it's about uh, a couple breaking up and uh, the the singer. So me in this case, the, the uh, okay. yeah will be um, is trying to sort of talk about how they feel about the breakup and. And the main sort of chorus of the story is, is talking about how the distance between the two people may hopefully um, influence uh, the girl to realise that she does still love him. Um, and yeah, she sort of comes back into it, running into his arms, that kind of thing. Um, however, yeah, by, by the end of the song, you kind of realise that um, that's not the case. Um, but yeah. Well, hopefully it will, will work out well. I'm sure the, the song is brilliant anyway, I did listen to it. But the other song is, what's that one? Um, the so brand the other new song, one, this yeah, is very the, exciting. The other song uh, is called Strong. Yeah. Um, it's a working title at the moment, but okay. not, I'm not 100% sure that would be the name. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a similar kind of thing. Um, so it's uh, another relationship that's, that's sort of gone bad. Um, but the, the sort of idea behind the story is that despite all this bad stuff, you've, you've got to hold your head up, you've got to stay strong. Mm -hmm. um, and then hopefully one day you'll believe yourself and believe that you are strong um, and you'll be able to yeah, move on with other people. That's oh. basically the, that's the, the rough idea behind it anyway. That's yeah. the plan. Yeah. Well, I look forward to hearing them both anyway. Yeah. Um, so have you always sung? You also play the keyboard as well, yes, don't you? Yeah. Sung, how did you get into it to start um, with? Well, singing, um, I kind of started through drama. Okay. Um, so I did uh, a local theatre school called Red Roofs um, yeah. in Maidenhead. I did that from a very young age. And um, yeah, just got into sort of musical theatre through there. So I was singing mm -hmm. in musical theatre. That's musical theatre. Yeah, and then um, when I joined secondary school, I kind of realised that actually... Um, I love the acting side mm -hmm. of stuff and I love singing, yeah. but I like to sort of keep them separate because I like the more sort of naturalistic acting, like TV acting, that kind of thing, okay. um, rather than the uh, the musical sort of extravaganza stuff. The um, and, and, yeah, and, and, and being uh, yeah, and being a singer, I like to just be able to ex express me rather than the being character. somebody else. Yeah. Um, so that's the that's sort of where the singing came from, and um, I started piano lessons when. I was in secondary school, a couple of years in secondary school, um, and just did like contemporary lessons, so learned like pop songs that were in the charts at the moment yeah. and things like that. So I haven't had any classical piano no, training. You just learned it um, but I, I, yeah, hopefully I feel like I'm I'm good enough to accompany myself singing, and that's yeah. That's no, really definitely, it's so, so good to just have confidence and just go out and yeah. do it and get to perform live in front yeah, of people it, yeah, and combine nice. combine the two things that you love to do. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's amazing. Yeah. So obviously that, as you did explain, that started off as more of a hobby, mm. as you said, within school and within theatre, within your drama group. How did that then evolve to you taking it a bit more forward and trying to get booked for gigs and mm. and different things like this? Um, I mean, confidence is a, is a big part of that. Uh -huh. um, so when I first sort of started writing my own stuff, I was a bit nervous to share it and sort of going through secondary school, I always thought, oh, being a male singer is a bit, oh, like people people don't really, oh, they're not used to used to that, I think. Okay. At, at my school, anyway, that was the case. Um, but I just thought, look, go for it, go exactly. with it. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of the gig stuff, yeah, when I got the confidence, it's just about emailing people, 
um, trying to get the right contacts and just taking any opportunity. And do you really. want to take it into a career now? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. You yeah, want to take I mean, I've I've been way. I've been lucky enough that a, a few people have approached me, but really? I think the main the main way to do it is to just get yourself out there. Yeah. Even if you feel like you're annoying, it's good that people can remember your name. That's, know your name yeah, that, everybody's got to start know. somewhere. The more exactly. things you do, and then it's very, very yeah. exciting. So. Yes. Um, I'm glad that like the music industry is taking you on board and it's all going well for you. But what style of genre and music would you kind of class yourself in the bracket of? Um, so I'd I'd say it's pop music. Uh huh. Um, so not not like the sort of classic chart stuff. Yeah. But it is still pop music. Um, but it's got sort of influences from um, like modern day country. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd say some indie and uh, singer songwriter acoustic. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'd say it's quite like stylistic because it's not mm. like it's not club music. It is, yeah, yeah. Or like it's yeah, it's mm. nice. Yeah, I feel like it's like, like you do quite a lot of Michael Bublé, don't you? Yeah, so I, that's yeah. that's sort of the, the secondary side of stuff. Um, so the main sort of part of me is is the singer songwriter yeah. and performing me and a piano that kind of thing. Um, but on the side of that, yeah, I do um, swing and jazz stuff as well. So it's like Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Buble, um, all people like that. So it's all the all the jazz standards. So they, really. did they like influence you, and then you took off and I think made so, it into yeah. your own style, yeah. like, like the folk singer songwriter mm. kind of style. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm influenced by by all sorts of people. So in terms of the stuff I write, it's probably like Ed Sheeran, yeah. um, Codaline, Coldplay. Um, things like that. I'd sort of say my music is similar to, to that bracket, yeah. Um, but then the jazz stuff, yeah, it's, it's just something completely different that I've only looked at the last few years, but really enjoy singing it, performing it, and yeah, yes. love doing all this stuff. It's so good that you can do such a variety of mm. things as well, and you can get into so many people's yeah. thick pockets and mm. stuff. Well, that's so interesting. So, um, as you did say, you have now got two songs. One's called Distance, the other one you've got the working title of Strong. Yes. So, you write these yourself. Just excuse us. There's a sound check going on, and um, so there might be some strange noises. Yeah. Um, but so you write those songs yourself. Yeah. So as you did say, they're kind of based on breakups and mm. relationships. Are they based on your own experiences, or just where yeah. do you get your inspiration um, from for lyrics and the music? Yeah, I like to. The way I'd sort of start it off is I'll start with music first. Yeah. Um, and that will kind of. I mean, there's the sort of major minor idea of it where if you write a song in a major key, it's a happy song. Write a song in a minor key, it's a sad song. But I know that's not about constructing. Yeah, but that's so not. It's not necessarily true. But I kind of start with the sort of major or minor feel, depending on what kind of song I want to to write. Um, and a lot of it, yeah, it does come from personal stuff. But I feel like it's it's a fabricated version, <laughs> version of what happened. Um, because I mean, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of singer songwriters are probably the same as well. Yeah. Um. Because I think starting from personal experience, like as a starting point, and not necessarily directly relating the song to it, but just having it as a starting point is a really great way yeah. of, of writing. I think. Because you're yeah. gonna have to sing the song over and over yeah, again. Yeah, that's so. it. And it's uh, it's great that you can you can be influenced by other artists, but you can also be influenced by like your own life and your own mm. experiences as well. And I think that's yeah. I think that's so you great. just have to kind of, as you say, fabricate. Mm. The, what act, events that depending actually happen, on depending depend on the story, yeah, and then the, then yeah. it kind of evolves. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like poetry, right? It's, it's strange, yeah, yeah it's strange because you'll start off with an idea, or you'll start off with just a few chords, and then uh, a few hours or a few days down the line, or a few months, it could be, it just turns into something completely different that you never thought it would be before. Yeah. Wow, and you rewrite it over and over, or does sometimes, it yeah. Slow? There's a there's a few that I've kind of. That I've written and then just left, and then uh, when I come up to releasing a song, so with Distance, for example, um, I actually sort of wrote the main melody for it a couple of years ago, and then just pushed it to the side, um, and then I came to perform it. Um, the the original version I had, I performed it a few years ago, and um, got some great feedback. Yeah. But I sort of left it, looked back over it last year and realised oh actually there's probably some changes I could make. Now that I was a bit sort of more experienced and mm-hmm. like more immersed in this sort of music. Yeah, music scene, direction I guess. You wanted yeah, to yeah. Be. Um yeah it just sort of changed and developed into into what it is now, yeah. So I feel like with with 
a lot of my songs I'll end up doing that, yeah. Just, yeah, just it's just yeah. an evolving journey and eventually yeah, you get to the final yeah, product. Yeah, yeah. That's so it. as we did mention earlier, you do do quite a lot of gigs, sometimes like on jazz nights mm. and obviously you're performing tonight yeah. in their studio sessions event here at Northern Farm. Mm. But how do you get booked for things or do you just um, have to apply to mm. go to different events? Yeah, I feel a, a lot of a lot of places are actively looking for people oh. to perform. Um, so a lot of the time I'll see an advertisement or a promotion or something and think, oh, that might be something I'm interested in, yeah. um, and, and book through there. But word of mouth is a, is another really yeah really big thing. Um, so social media and then yeah word of mouth because I've I've had people say to me, oh, this is coming up, yeah. looks like it might be your sort of thing. Would you be interested? Um, and then yeah, I, have, uh, I go through email whoever's like sort of responsible for the event. Um, give them links to my page, links to my music, um, and then if they like it, yeah, they then, respond and, yeah. And then you get invited, and then it, here, yeah. here you are. Oh, yes. You just have to keep on knocking on doors, that's get it. yourself out there, yeah, follow those definitely. emails yeah. up, and then eventually mm. you meet people and find different yeah. connections, yeah. and it works out and you get to perform yeah. live in front of an audience. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I've always been told, nothing's gonna get handed to you on a plate. Exactly. You need to go, if you want something, you need to go out and search for it. And um, I think that's probably a really good mindset to have, and I'm glad I've kind of adopted that a yeah. bit more now. So yeah. Keep on going, yeah, yeah. and it will so, happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as we have mentioned um, before, you do have your debut single called Distance, yes. and that's currently now released on Spotify. Yes. Um, and also, I did also read that you've um, been selected, and you're going to be played on BBC Radio Berkshire yeah. as part of their BBC inter Introducing. Mm. So those are two fantastic achievements. How, congratulations. Thank you. How did they come about? Um, well, there's sort of various websites you can go through um, to get your music out on different platforms. Uh -huh. um, so for, for Spotify, there was a website I used called CD Baby. Uh -huh. um, and they, you basically pay a bit of money, it's about $15 or £15, something like that, um, for per track. And you can choose how you want your track to be distributed. Um, and there's one you can choose which just goes on all streaming services. Uh -huh. So all you do is fill out all the relevant information um, and then just send it off and they'll um, basically send it to like uh, Apple Music, Amazon. Because um, all of these things, yeah, yeah. Just Spotify, you explained Yeah, so they, sp they send it to, uh, to all different streaming services and then they'll upload it um, okay. sort of for you. So um, I think that's a really good way of doing it, but there's so many other ways you can, you can do it as well. Um, but yeah, that's... And as uh, with getting on the radio. Yeah, that's... and the radio stuff. Um, so on the BBC website, they've got um, an introducing page you can go on. Yeah. And um, through there, you kind of, you upload your track onto, direct onto the BBC website. Um, and then you just kind of choose what areas you want to send it off to. Uh -huh. um, so I sent it to Radio Berkshire and also uh, London as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, within a within a couple of weeks of uploading it, uh, BBC Berkshire responded and said they were going to play it on air, um, which was great. And yeah, that was, um, so I think it was the twelfth of January. It was on there, um, and yeah, since then they've sort of sent it off to a few more BBC in introducing places, um, and I've got responses from them on emails and stuff as well, wow. saying they've listened to it. So. So yeah, just get circulated, then you get out there, and then yeah. more and more people that listen to it, and that's so good though that you're just able to go through your own research, just mm. uh, research how to get on Spotify, as you said, Apple Music a bit mm. more. You're able to do it yourself yeah. without having to get a prior agent or anything like that. Yeah. And then from there you can just apply yourself mm. instead of having to go through yeah. third parties. Yeah, because so I, I think having to hear, I think. yeah, having having like a team behind you is great. Yeah. But it's also an expensive way of doing things as yeah. well, unless you know people have friends who are already in the kind of industry and in that sort of profession. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of DIY artists out there and for the moment that's what I am, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully with sort of more time, more exposure uh, and more money, I'll hopefully be able to, to get a team to kind of market myself uh, really professionally. I'll try and do it professionally already. Yeah, as you um, say, it's just about getting yourself out there. Yeah. You've got like the album, so it looks so professional mm. on Spotify. I didn't realise how you did it before I saw it. It's yeah. got the album cover and yeah. everything, like it looks, well it sounds good, so Thank you. there we are, that's the main thing isn't it, the, yeah, the yeah, sound. Yeah. Um, so as we just say, you're obviously taking music as to be your career and getting yeah. around places, so you're doing quite well for yourself currently and you've made so much progress in such a short space, mm. space of time, but 
for the future, do you have any particular aspirations or goals that you hope to achieve, or are you just going to see where it goes? Um, it's kind of a bit of both. So yeah. I'd, I'd love to just kind of ride it out at the moment and see where I go. But I mean, long term, um, I'd love to just be doing it day to day. Um, full time. Full time, yeah, as a job. So making a good income from it, um, not really having to to do anything that I don't want to do yeah. and yeah just following the following the passion really I guess and exactly. the dream, yeah. and that's what it's all about yeah. you've just got to go for it and you're obviously very talented but you've also Thank got you. that drive behind you mm. that will lead you to hopefully success mm. that sounds hopefully yeah, it, yeah. no you're going <laughs> yeah. like if you've achieved this and mm. it's all there's a ladder and you're obviously climbing it yeah. so it's very exciting um, for anybody who may be watching who may be interested in getting into the music industry or maybe they just enjoy singing or playing an instrument what advice would you give them or what I think, do you think yeah I think just just honestly just just go for it I know a lot of people say exactly that as well but it is honestly the truth like if you if you've got anything that you think is is worth sharing with with other people just just do it because there's so many different genres there's so many different niches for people to yeah. get into and I think even if you think, oh, I might not be in the charts, might not be a mainstream thing, might be something that a few people won't like, there will be people that, that like it. Mm, there exactly. will be. And there always will be. Um, and if so you I, enjoy something and you're passionate about it, yeah. and that puts a smile on someone else's Yeah, and I, I just think, yeah, if, if that's what you want to do, you just, you just do it. You don't, don't worry about, oh, it's difficult to get in, because yeah. it is difficult to get into yeah. the music industry. However, there's a, there's a thing called the long tail, and okay. um, at the moment, me and every other artist who's just sort of starting out, we're at the bottom of the long tail. Uh -huh. um, and then there's a very small percentage of musicians in the world that are at this, this peak of the long tail um, at the start. And that is the people that are like Ed Sheeran and like uh, Jess Glynn, Ella Eyre, yeah. um, James Arthur, all the, all the big names that you know basically. Mm. They're the ones that are are at the, at the peak of this. However, there's still that whole long tail and that's why it's called yeah. the long tail because there's a tiny percentage that are, are really big and yeah. are making millions. But that doesn't mean that you can't still be in the music industry, exactly. but maybe not as prevalent as they are, but you can still you can still do really well, but just be a bit more underground. Yeah. yeah. And everybody's got to start somewhere. As yeah, long exactly. If you enjoy yeah. what you're doing, then yeah, that's the so, main thing. Yeah. Wow, well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for chatting yeah, with thank us. You for me. Thank you. Yeah. No, of course. Um, and of course, sharing your inner flamingo with all of us, we really do appreciate it. And for sharing all your advice and words of wisdom and everything like that. Mm. And of course, best of luck for your performance tonight. Thank I have, you. you have to go and do a sound check soon, don't you? Yeah, I'll be going in a minute. Uh, <laughs> so you're still, off to a sound check and yeah. then the performance later. So good luck for that. Thank you. And good luck for everything in the future as well. And thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed my chat with Ollie here. And do remember that I'm going to link all of his music stuff and social media to this video. So you can go and check that out and go and have a listen to his song Distance on Spotify. Thank you.